Hello there everybody, this is Jericho here. I'm going to show you how to eat some pizza the right way. Yeah, the right way of eating pizza. Today is the 13th, if you know it's little. Not mistaken, it's the 13th of January 2017. So this is fresh out of the oven. Not really, but it's slightly cold. There's some... This is Domino's Pizza because they fucked up the whole damn thing. Yesterday I ate the fresh, fresh pizza and it was, oh god, not nice. It wasn't caramelized. So the next day, which is today, I put it inside the oven and definitely it would taste better because it would make the the pineapple sweeter because yesterday it was just raw and fuck Domino's get your fucking shit together motherfucker I mean uh, Domino's Malaysia so here is the whatchamacallit Hawaiian pizza or if it's Pizza Hut it's called Hawaiian pizza this is called Aloha Aloha I think it's called Aloha yeah, from Domino's and this one seafood pizza or uh, from Domino's perspective, I think it's called Fishy Fishy Pizza. So, and there's a chicken drumstick from a very small chicken. And there's a cheese roll thing. And that sauce is, of course, the peri, not the peri sauce, windaloo sauce and stuff. Ah. So I better set up my camera nicely so you can know how to really, really eat pizza the right way. Because people always fuck up when eating pizza. They think that uh, all you need to do when eating pizza is to put it one in one's mouth. <coughs> put it in one's mouth and 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 uh, make sure the the top part of your teeth and the bottom part of, of your teeth meets all the time. Nyak, 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 nyak. And when you do that many times, when it's turned into a mush, then you. Uh, engage the peristalsis, uh, we call peristalsis uh, event, or it's not an event, a peristalsis type of uh, activity, and uh, the food will go into your the throat. Now it's a better lighting. I hope. Fuck! Lighting is not good here. So, how to eat properly the pizza, not just shoving it in your whole face. So I'm going to use this Ultraman as a base. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So the pizza is down here. So, so the first thing you have to do is, of course, use your hand, yeah, and pick the pizza. Very important. This is a, like a basic, basic way of eating. So today, I'm going to demonstrate, this is the pizza, the crust is below of course, and on top is the topping. So what's the most important thing when eating pizza is to smell it. Mmm, smells like pizza. And fishy fishy, like seafood. Hence the word pizza fishy fishy from Domino's. You can see that uh, there's some crab meat, so therefore it should smell like a crab. Or in Cantonese, hai. It's called hai. So it should smell hai. In Mando hai. Uh, that means, can you smell the crab? Yeah? And uh, other curse, I mean, other words that you say when you're talking to other people or referring to other people, uh, like say in Cantonese, kyu nyama chow hai. That means, fuck your mother's smelly cra crab. Mmm. This crab is smelling like processed crab actually. But never mind. Again, pizza on top. Oh, sorry, not pizza. The whole thing is a pizza. Crust below, topping on top. So the very important thing is no soy sauce required, okay? If you have a, a soy sauce, uh, if you go to pizza, the Domino's Pizza, they don't have a restaurant. Maybe you have to stand. And of course, in the Domino's Pizza, or any restaurant that sells pizza, they have a small little saucepan and also a small little bottle of, of uh, soy sauce. And uh, there's also some... Uh, green herbs that is quite spicy besides the chili powder that is given there's also a green chili called the uh, uh, wasabi I think it's called so wasabi is you you mix the soy sauce which is black and the wasabi which is green uh, don't do that yet don't do that yet so you have to savor the the smell 
and uh, you have to eat it raw first. And how do you eat it raw without dipping on the sauce yet? It, so the topping is on top. So what you have to do is you have to flip it and put it in one's mouth because the tongue. This is this this is the tongue. This is the tongue. Yeah, this is the tongue. This is the tongue I was trying to like uh, enunciate. This is the tongue. Besides uh, being a sensory or tasting apparatus or a organ, is it an organ? Maybe it's an organ, I'm not sure. Uh, it's also very good for cunnilingus. Cunnilingus meaning uh, licking of one's uh, girlfriend's or anybody's or any girl's vagina or vagina. And uh, of course, the tongue can uh, explore at many crevices like the inside of the vagina, the uterus, if it's long enough. Because if your tongue is long enough to go into the uterus, that means you're a snake man already. <laughs> so you use your tongue to explore the vagina around the outer area, which is the best place. Because when you attack a girl using the skill of cunnilingusness, uh, if you have a female Kung Fu master, ask her to teach you the art of cunnilinguatista. So you have when you are engaging the cunnilingus technique, you have to explore around the the gash or the the tear of the body or the groin area for, first around the area. Don't attack the middle part because uh, your enemy when they when they they will think that you they will, that they will think that you are going to attack the gash or the hole or the vagina first. But actually, you have to go around. It's like calling, calling it a flanking maneuver. Yeah. Definitely Rommel or Guderian from World War II would be proud of me. So you attack fl uh, flanking cunnilingus um, flank manure which is to use one's tongue to explore the skin side of the vagina. Then you explore that for 10 minutes and when your enemy or the female has been incapacitated, incapacitated, sorry, incapacitated and it's like in her death throes because you can see that she's wriggling and uh, her body is like it's like a wave you can sense that because your tongue is already exploring the skin around the vagina and once you feel that she's going to many times that means she's really approaching orgasm or has approached orgasm multiple times which is very good you have really really you're in it for the in it so it's time for the death, death blow. The death blow is uh, after exploring and licking around the skin part which is brown in color. Now it's time to attack the part that is the inner skin which is pink. Uh, normally the lovely colored uh, vagina would be pink and some girls do have dark brown. So the, the misconception of saying that uh, dark brown pussy lips or inside vagina uh, if it's darker, that means they have had a lot of sex. No, that does not uh, does not mean anything. The color does not mean anything. The color of the vagina inside of it is either pink or very dark brown. Uh, it depends on the skin. If there's a lot of full of skin, a lot of skin, uh, it's going to be dark brown because the pigments are more clumped together, therefore it's darker. If it's pink, that means that it's skinless and well, you can see the pink blood and that's the most delicious part. So you use your tongue and just eat in, I mean not eat in, you go and uh, lick in or you just stab the, the enemy or the female <coughs> into the vagina. Like so. It's like uh, 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 punching. Yeah? <coughs> so, and her most, most vulnerable part would be the, the bean, the bean that has a hood. It's like a Japanese peasant, you know, the hood is the, the you know, straw hat and the face is the punching bag. That's the one that you want to get. That's the bean, aka the clitoria. No, no, clitoris. Clip, or in Japanese terms, it's called clitorisu. So the clitorisu is the one that you want to attack. So you have to use your tongue, the tip of your tongue, preferably, and you have to like do whatever you want, that's the most vulnerable part, the bean, the clitoris su. Then she'll die. She will be out of breath and suddenly she'll pass away. She'll just be, lay on the bed and strangely enough, before she died, she has a happy face. So the most important thing is, yeah, topping on top, like so.
the reason to make it upside down is because the flavors are on the toppings so you need the contact of the cheese and the toppings on your tongue and not the flour so the flour fuck it the flour is just there to i'm not sure actually to hold the topping the topping is the most important thing the flour not so the flour only gives it a bit of body mm. that make you make you eat less of the topping because uh, if you eat too much cheese you're fucked in the future mm. Mm. and uh, you want to insult the chef or what's it called the pizzeria master class chef dip it in the chili sauce not chili sauce wasabi sauce or soya sauce and uh, this one is uh, dip it like so mm. and eat mm. So the most important thing is topping first on the tongue. Mm. Mamma mia. If you eat like that, no topping in a pizzeria, the chef will come out and congratulate you personally. The waiters will actually tell the chef, oh my god, he's eating the right way. Then the, the masterclass pizzeria chef will come out he will say, thank you, Mr. Asian man. Thank you for eating it the proper way. That's what he will say. And Mamma Mia, Mario from Nintendo is very good. Uh, the food here, have you tried the lasagna? Because the lasagna is made from cheese uh, and it's delicious. Uh, and if you, you don't eat beef, uh, I will put in pork. Uh, but pork is uh, not good for Muslims. If they eat pork, uh, they will die. Uh, Something like that. So, this one is the cheese roll. There is no etiquette or proper way of eating it. There's cheese in the middle. And if you don't like the wrapping around, so just throw the wrapping or the flour part and just suck on the cheese. Oh, the cheese is not coming out, so I have to eat it with the Outer wrapping. Mm. Mm. Nice. Thank you, Domino, for this. Well, not that they paid me or gave this for free. I'm just saying thank you for inventing something like this. Mm. Mm. Corporations invent stuff. Humans don't. Chefs don't invent stuff. It's corporations, the major corporations that invent stuff. Like, like Domino's Pizza Hut and other pizza places which I do not know of. This is the chicken wing. It has given its life for the cause of the of increasing the nutrition of or giving nutrition to human beings. Oops. Mm, it's a small little chicken. It has lived its life. You can tell that it's lived a very good life because it's huge and it's like an adult size already. So the chicken, if this is the chick, the drumstick, the chicken should be about this big. This big is how a chicken should live until uh, this is the size. If it's bigger than that, that means it's like in its old age. So you know old age, old people past their 50s or 60s, they are not content with life because their body is like fucked up. So they want to die already. So you're doing the chicken a favor by at this stage of maturity, you slaughter them by cutting this one and blood comes out it's it's not it's not painful okay it's painless it's painless and uh, contrary to popular belief if you put the chicken in a water bath that's boiling hot it's it will suffer so if a chicken will suffer and die inside a pot of boiling water what do you think the crustaceans or crabs or lobsters would feel they also will feel death and pain Pain first, then death, not death and pain. It's, it's in the order of de pain and then death, okay? Not death and then pain, because you don't feel anything after you are dead, right? Yeah. So, enough fucking around, chicken. Oh. The most important thing is, you have to taste, smell it. Mm. Smells like barbecue chicken. And you lick it. It's like an ordinary chicken drumstick.
Mm, tastes like protein. I have to say that it's like sperm. They're not that type of protein, but it tastes like proper chicken protein. Mm. Mm. Must eat the cartilage. And you want to insult the the chef who made the barbecue chicken? It's called the Master Barbecue Pit. Then you can have the sauce, the Windaloo sauce from from Domino's. It's delicious. Insult them by putting sauce on the chicken. So you want to eat it with sauce? Don't ever do that in front of the waiters or the chefs in Domino's Pizza or any pizzeria. You hear anybody that talks like Italian, Oh, mamma mia, fucker, fucker, something like that. Do not put sauce on the food. Mm, so good. Mm, tastes like chicken. Mm, delicious. Until I need to show you my nipples. I'm feeling a bit sexy today and whiskey and fucky. Oh, me going to show you some booty.